lot of people, Europe is a map, it's standards, it's an idea, but really, Europe is people. And if Europe is going to be real for us, we must meet each other. And I honestly believe that when people from Norway come to Ukraine, Europe becomes bigger and more real. I also think it's very healthy that people in Ukraine get to more knowledge about what's going on in Scandinavia. I often talk about if we only swim in one swimming pool, we think that's the way it is. We think this is the only normal, natural swimming pool. That's why it's so important to also swim in some other swimming pools. Not because they necessarily are better, but we as human beings, we get stimulated to think and reflect about the way we do things, and maybe we can do the things in other ways. That is the inspiration we get from meeting each other in summer schools like this. I was there today and I was struck by uh, the uh, engagement and enthusiasm of the students and their uh, curiosity and eagerness to learn about each other's uh, countries and uh, also learning the language which is not so easy when you start from scratch but uh, very committed students, very um, eager and engaged students so I think this will uh, be a very important contribution to uh, enhancing the knowledge between our countries. I'm very happy to be here today and organize this summer school for the Ukrainians and Scandinavians. I am very excited to see that students from different countries and backgrounds are engaging themselves in the debate about important issues in this world. And I would strongly recommend everyone to experience something like this at least once in their lifetime. So this summer school has been a great success and I hope to see you next summer.